ஏமா கொஞ்சம் கதவு மட்டும் மூட்டு வாங்கமா so next time it is going to be aptitude test what is the difference between business math stats logical reasoning paper and aptitude fine na so there must be some different aptitude is something different business math stats logical reasoning is meaning is different but syllabus is one and the same topics are one and the same there is no changes in the exam pattern everything is same but only paper name is changed means so far what happened you know i don't know whether you have noticed it or not so far the papers were more into application oriented okay except mathematics the other topics stats and logical reasoning everything especially statistics it is application oriented it is kind of some questions were kind of case study okay some questions needed a uh, full procedure to get the answer but now in aptitude that is not going to happen so aptitude is something different so paper 3 is going to be what aptitude only from the new scheme onwards for us it is math stats and logical reasoning only so this time also we will be having like a previous sessions previous uh, attempt how the questions used to come the same only way it will come but in the coming sessions we need to wait and watch in the new scheme i hope you will not write a new scheme am i right my dear do you would you like to write new scheme please don't write new scheme and hate new scheme okay and the very important thing is i'm not bulin you are going to write june only so not for you yeah so uh, one more thing my dear uh, let us have one small strat strategy before i start in paper 3 how to approach most of you believe in statistics and uh, logical reasoning most of you depends on statistics and logical reasoning first of all you remember one thing my dear first of all remember one thing statistics and logical reasoning are our threats actual scoring is mathematics actual scoring is what mathematics inge vandiruka ma indha pakkam vandiruka screen inga la irukku indha pakkam vandiruka see actual scoring is what my dear mathematics வெரி <laughs> at last you should keep logical reasoning you are not supposed to take logical reasoning at the beginning okay if you are dependent on logical reasoning please change your mindset please change your mindset i may go ulta that is what others are saying i may go reverse but the logical reasoning is going to be highly time consuming most of you might have already experienced it so it's simple okay actually logical reasoning questions most of the time it is twisted only we may feel that okay this answer is correct but that may not be right okay maybe some different answer because different different people different different aspects they are looking at so but as far as mathematics is concerned it's a direct question and the direct questions will give you direct answer so here in our class most of you are going to be dependent on mathematics and so far i have not learned mathematics or i have not done mathematics properly please don't worry about it just leave it to me just believe in me and follow whatever i say that is more than enough the rest is assured okay this is for mathematics is concerned statistics sir i think statistics is little bit scoring sir of course my dear statistics is actually scoring but the topics which are scoring those topics we always ignore i will tell you which are the topics are scoring and uh, you just tell me whether you are ignoring it or not the major two topics which are scoring is theoretical distribution and probability can you believe that but most of you are ignoring that theoretical distribution and probability we completely dependent on the first topic of course first topic is theory only so that is everyone should depend on it's okay but theoretical distribution probability what is the advantage you know theoretical distribution 
most of the questions are repeated questions. Okay, there is past year questions if you solve from theoretical distribution, at least five marks you can score. At least five marks only from theoretical distribution you can score. Only what we have to do? Solve the past year questions. Most of the questions are repeated. As far as probability is concerned, such a darling topic actually. It's like, you know, uh, it's a practical uh, topic, you know, just you can think and give the answer. No need of formulas, nothing. Okay, it's like, you know, practical problems. Okay, practical problems. So, this is actually what these two topics are put together going to give you 14 marks and most of the time we used to ignore these two topics and that is the biggest mistake what we are committing. Okay, that we are not supposed to commit. Let us ensure that 14 marks out of 14 at least we should score 10. Okay, at least we should score 10. Including me, like others, including me, we used to say time value of money is the most crucial topic, very, very important topic. Of course, today also I stand by with that statement. But I always used to tell all my students that there is a chance of 90% only, 95%. That is 10 to 12 questions can be asked. But there is 5% significant we have. Like, you know, there are two attempts. There are not two. I think last December and... Uh, the first attempt of CA Foundation, in both the attempts, time value of money, they asked very less number of questions. Okay, like uh, five or six. But rule is, at least 25% questions should come from time value of money. But they asked very less number of questions in two attempts so far. Out of uh, eight attempts completed, in eight, eight or nine attempts, in that eight or nine attempts, two attempts what? Two to three attempts, they did not follow the rule. From this, what we come to know is, do not depend on institute rules. If somebody says, this is what the protocol we need to follow, let us ignore that. Anytime, anything can be changed. At least, in mathematics, now most of the people are dependent on time value of money, time value of money. Even I also say, this time it was quite good number of questions they asked, eight to nine questions they asked. Okay. 8 to 9 questions they asked. It is good number only. But last to last attempt, there were 14 questions. Okay, 14 questions from time value of money. So if more number of questions from time value of money, it is always good only because few simple questions will used to be there. But if only 8, 9 questions are there from time value of money, there will be some questions which are going to be what? Little bit challenging. And this time also I heard there are few questions which were like two, three questions which were challenging. You found it a little difficult. I saw the question paper. One day I'll solve the question paper. In the month of November, we are going to solve uh, this, your attempt question paper. Okay. That is what you wrote. Now that question paper we are going to solve in the month of November. Okay. Yes. So let us have a clear strategy as far as paper three is concerned. The clear strategy is you should know when to say no. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? You should know when to say no. That means no means no. This question I'm not supposed to attend means I'm not supposed to attend. Do not even try it. I will solve each and every question, each and every concept. After solving some big questions, I will say, if this question comes in the examination, try to ignore. This is what my statement is going to be. So, don't try to score 100 out of 100. MCQs, this type of aptitude test and all, it is not meant for scoring 100 out of 100. Please understand this. Okay. It is not meant for scoring 100 out of 100. It is not like 12th standard exam. They are checking your aptitude. How maximum you can score. Okay. How you are handling the situation. See, we are, we are treating this as a max exam, you know. This is not a max exam. Like a 12th standard Okay, like 11th standard, how we used to approach max exam, the same way we are approaching this examination. Please understand, my dear, this is not max exam. Please remember, institute doesn't want Ramanujam or Shakundala Devi, they want chartered accountants. And they want to know how many of you have got skilled enough to take the proper decision. Okay, how you are able to take the decision and how you are selecting the solutions. So they are going to check those things only. Okay, it is not that, okay, how much you are good in calculus, how much you are good in uh, permutation combination. No one is there to check that. Is it clear, my dear? 
so first of all you come uh, out of that mindset behave like a chartered accountants no need to behave like a mathematics students okay being a mathematics teacher being a mathematics student i am saying this please don't behave like that the way engineering students used to behave okay that same way you no need to behave because your test is something different what is examination na the test approach should be different the way of approach should be changed this is what i mean to say okay only thing what you need to do you need to change your approach everyone is good in maths don't worry my it's it's a very simple paper i most of you people i think i spoke to you in person okay in person i spoke and uh, i understand most of you are very good only okay you are not uh, like you know weak students in mathematics you are brilliant but where we are lagging is approach only we are lagging okay approach only we are lagging so here in our session how we are going to uh, what you are, what you should learn from me that i'll tell you in the beginning itself let us be very clear about it if i teach one sum one problem that is everyone does and everyone learn it it's not a big deal but i want you to learn how i am approaching that sum it is not that how i am solving that sum okay what do you have to learn from me my dear how i am approaching okay how i am approaching for example listen here in integration there were some questions this type of questions and all you might have seen like you know um, integration this type of questions and all you might have seen okay so most of you might have applied integral by parts uv rules are nang enga sir apply panna we never we don't know what exactly this is because integration we used to ignore but remember my dear integration is a, such a simple topic you know if you know the pattern then anyone can answer for example this is the question anyone can write the answer x into log x the whole cube minus 3 log x the whole square plus 6 log x minus 6 answer over <clears throat> okay so it's there is no magic and all it's a simple logic to be approach that's what i said i want you to learn the approach don't learn math see remember my dear i have even i have my own ego about mathematics i want you to learn the concept of mathematics but remember this is not the time okay here we are here to score good marks in paper 3 only our approach should be like that i am not here to show my skill okay and you are not here to develop your skill our both the like you know what what is our ultimate aim is sir minimum 60 marks from paper 3 sir that is what our ultimate aim that's it okay so just learn how i'm approaching okay and one more thing for example this is a famous question it's still there in your book root of 6 plus root of 6 plus root of 6 plus root of 6 up to infinity yes how we approach you tell me what is the answer i asked what is the answer i did not ask how to approach you understand my question my dear i asked what is the answer i did not ask how to approach nasini 3 okay how to approach eh adha na solli kodutha odha kodu solta ah others sir we will take it as x i'm just showing you the difference between quantitative that is this aptitude test and the actual business maths paper sir we will take it as x ayyo wait wait my dear when the din stop aid sir mandish okay ah okay yeah sir we'll take it as x squaring on both sides and we will form a quadratic equation then we will solve it this is what the actual method i'll show you see sir we'll take it as x squaring on both sides
and um, again up to infinity x square is equal to 6 plus x x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 it's a quadratic equation x minus 3 into x plus 2 equal to 0 what is x is equal to 3 comma minus 2 it cannot be negative therefore x is equal to 3 this is the answer and this is the solution and this is the way we need to do and this is the way we used to do this is approach of mathematics student but aptitude students how to approach algebra the way he said Srinivas was said so the answer is 3 this is what we need to do see once you understand the type of the question root 6 plus root 6 plus root 6 plus root 6 plus up to infinity okay then there is a logic behind it there is a small shortcut here what does it you know i'll tell you the 6 can be written as product of two consecutive numbers always that number should be written as a product of two consecutive numbers what is it three twos are sir. six ones are also sixes are no always go for two consecutive numbers okay now listen here my dear here in between what sign we have plus sign what sign we have so therefore greater number will be the answer over therefore what will be the answer greater number will be the answer if minus is there smaller number will be the answer okay for example root of 12 minus root of 12 minus root of 12 minus root of 12 minus root of up to infinity 3 that's it is that correct so here what we are going to learn we are going to learn the approach i'm saying we are going to learn the approach see this is what mathematics student do in my class i will teach this method also this method is to understand the concept what we have to do but in the examination what we need to follow the trick which i'm sharing with you that is what you need to follow try to get the answer directly i don't want you to touch your notebook or pen to solve the questions i want you to take your pen only to mark the answers okay most of the time so this is the way from day one you need to take the training okay it's a training session only Okay, it's a training session only. Please understand that. Is it clear all of you? So, one small approach only I said, my dear. One small approach only I said. Okay, you have seen, you have come across with this type of questions also. You have come across this, ty this type of questions also. Some equation to be framed. The equations to be framed. Okay, now you tell me, my dear, if you are remembering it, can you please tell me how to approach this? Huh? Ever. 12 power z oh sorry thank you how we approach you tell me my dear i think sir we'll take it as equal to k then 3 equal to k power 1 by a 4 equal to k power 1 by y, 12 is equal to k power 1 by z, blah, 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 blah. This is what we need to do. But once you understand this pattern, direct one step we can write, is there is any connection between 3, 4 and 12? What is it? 3, 4 is 12. Correct? Since it is in indices and we are dealing with index. So what is there in the index? 1. In every index, what we have? 1. And here, 3 index is 1. And here, 3 index is x. Write it as 1 by x. In between, what is the sign? In index, indices, multiplication, indices, what will it will become as addition. What is there in the index? And here, what is 4's index? So, what will come? Is equal to, what will come? Answer over. See, this is what we used to do it as what you know, four or five steps questions actually. Here, once you understand the uh, connection between that numbers, three, fours are 12, problem is solved. Okay, for example, 75, what do you do with 75? Three into five square. Three into five square is equal to 75. Then accordingly, we have to frame. So, this is the small, small things that everyone can understand. You don't need to be a great mathematician to understand this small, small products. Is that clear, my dear? So, just I wanted to tell you how to approach the paper, nothing else. So, 
let us uh, understand and we are going to learn what and all should not be done for the should not be attended for the examinations that is very important thing sir these questions and all i don't want to attend sir okay rather attending the questions we should know what are the questions we are not supposed to attend okay so this is what we are going to learn and the very important thing is shading is very very important shading most of the people are do, committing mistakes in shading paper because remember your papers are going to get corrected by the machines not by a human so machines are already programmed if you are committing some error in the shading part machine will not read that if machines are not reading you will not be allotted marks am i right my dear so shading is also equally important shading is also equally important the real challenge for paper 3 is not your mathematical skill the real challenge for paper 3 is time constraint please remember in 2 hours time attending 100 question it is not child's play don't try to attend all 100 questions that is the biggest uh, problem what you are facing but i want you to in 2 hours time from 1 to 100 you should complete whether you are attending or ignoring but as far as the reading the questions are concerned you should have you should complete it okay mostly what happens you know many students are unable to reach after 60 65 questions remaining 35 questions they did not read only by the time they reach 60th question time up and we give the paper and come back the remaining 40 questions most of the question you might aware but we are ignoring it we we don't have time for it so time constraint is the biggest problem here as far as ca foundation is concerned i request all to focus into time okay and uh, i am not bothered about maintaining the notebook as far as mathematics is concerned okay as far as mathematics is concerned but my accounts and law you should maintain proper notebook and you should maintain it properly mathematics i am least bothered because i don't want you to write only whenever i say okay you write it then only you are supposed to write otherwise try to get the answer apply your mind okay this is the way i should get the answer we are not supposed to call it as shortcuts we call it as hacks okay fine <clears throat> now so let me start with the the most important topic and uh, the like you know from mathematics i'm going to start okay mathematics i'm going to start and the people will dare to start with this topic they always do it at the end of the session or uh, they ignore this uh, this topic but i am going to start with that session only okay already did for you it's okay once again you can attend okay yes the most dangerous or uh, sweetest topic anything you can say it is permutation and combination and uh, i am going to start from that permutation and combination correct now see what i believe is if you understand permutation and combination then you will understand everything correct na so how many of you left permutation combination option can you please tell me that left okay otherwise everyone did yeah fine so we'll start from permutation and combination okay the most uh, like you know actually it's a very simple topic and very good topic why i'm saying this you know we can save time in permutation combination where we can save some time you know permutation combination Ah, okay. Any good? Am I not mother? Yes. Shall we start permutation and combination? Before we start with permutation and combination, we should learn about two things. Okay. Fundamental principle on. addition 
and fundamental principle on multiplication okay these are the two things we should understand before we start with permutation combination fundamental principle on multiplication and fundamental principle on addition okay now listen here my dear of course there are two things one is and and the other one is what or conjunction and a disjunction see these two plays very very important role in mathematics in english everywhere okay these two words these two things okay and and or this conjunction and disjunction plays very 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 important role in mathematics where it is used where we are going to use now everywhere we are going to use these two things and or or any topic you take these two will be there okay fine let me just ask you one question my dear let me just ask you one question uh and or or we have okay and or or we have i hope in english you might be aware about conjunction and disjunction can you tell me what is meant by conjunction joining of two words joining of two words okay no words begins with conjunction no words actually for example because no words begins with because 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 is a conjunction i hope now you understood i formed one statement with because continuously three times correct na no word begins with because 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 is a conjunction can i say and i'm going to start with permutation combination no or i'm going to start with permutation combination no no word should begins with no sentence should begins with conjunction okay or disjunction whatever it is <coughs> okay now why we are talking about these two i'll tell you in mathematics number of operations can anyone tell me that how many operations we have got in mathematics mathematical Four. operations 4 okay how many operations we have got anna four ha huh? two only see these people are saying only two okay there are only two operations i know what uh, what you assumed for four addition subtraction multiplication and division these are the four operations we have got but i'm saying only two okay i'll tell you What is five plus six? आज ये लातू दे रही हूँ भैया। Five plus six addition. Okay, आज आज everyone knows man. अरे for you people if I ask this, it's an insult, right? Five plus six is what? This is what we call five plus six. We call it as addition. What do we call this? Subtraction. Okay. Now, this five minus six. Can we say five is a number? It's a number only, na man. What are minus six? Another number. See, five is a number. Minus six is another number. Sir, it is negative, sir. All right, don't worry about negative or positive. Number is a number. Do you all agree with me in mathematics? Either it is a positive number or negative number. It is called a number. We may give sir hero villain kind of thing for positive and negative. But as far as the mathematical definition is concerned, for mathematics. As far as mathematics is concerned, plus or minus, both are one and the same only. Both will have the equal importance. Do you agree? So five and minus six. Do we have five and minus six? Add five and minus six. What you are going to get? Minus one. See, five minus six also minus one. Sum of five minus six also minus one. Is both are one and the same, my dear? Actually, we are not subtracting. We are adding five and minus six. Am I right? See, there is no subtraction. it is actually addition only this is addition only we are adding two numbers in the first case also we are adding 5 and 6 second case we are adding what 5 and minus 6 that is only difference but we are adding only do you all agree my dear that's it but for our convenient we are calling it as subtraction so addition only one operation the same applies i think i hope now you understood the logic for this also What is it? Five into six. We call it as multiplication. 
5 divided by 6 we call it as division. See, 5 is a number. 1 by 6 also another number. And we are multiplying both numbers. Correct, na? 5 into 6 or 5 into 1 by 6. This we call it as multiplication. This we call it as division. But both are one and the same. Do you all agree, my dear? So, as far as mathematics is concerned, we are going to deal with only two operations. One is addition and the other one is multiplication. Please remember this. Okay. There is no other operation in entire mathematics. Because why I am talking about this, I'll tell you. Mostly this and or I am going to use in permutation combination and uh, probability theoretical distribution in statistics. Most of the places we are going to use these two conjunction and disjunctions. Okay. And or are. Now, statement form. And or set notation, set notation, and is nothing but intersection, or is nothing but union. Set notation is what, and is nothing but intersection, or is nothing but union. Mathematically, and stands for multiplication, or stands for addition. Please understand this. This is very important thing. Statement form and means set notation. We use intersection. Mathematically, we use multiplication. Or means what? Set notation, we use union. Mathematically, we use addition. Is it clear, my dear? Yes. Now listen here. This is what first you need to remember before we start with any mathematical topic. Let us understand this basic. Okay. What is it? And or Set notation as well as what mathematically how we are going to denote both are given. Now let me come to a fundamental principle on addition and multiplication. Let me come there. Yeah. Listen here my dear. Yeah. All of you please listen here. Don't sleep. Now we are entering into the topic. So far we have discussed so many things. Now we are entering into the topic. So I want you to listen here only. Don't sleep. If you feel tired, if you are sleepy, don't worry. You just take my permission. Go first floor, have small nap and come back. Okay, it's not a big deal. Okay, because it's a rainy morning. Okay, it's a nice sleep we had. Now it is just got disturbed. Okay, got disturbed. Fine, it, it's okay. Now at least focus. I'm going to start with the topic directly. So listen here, my dear. See, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 up to n. Have you seen this before anywhere, my dear? Yes. What is it called? Huh? Sum of n natural numbers. Am I right, my dear? Sum of n natural numbers. To, we used to denote it as summation n. Am I right, my dear? Just now only we said there are two mathematical operations. One is addition, other one is multiplication. Where there is sum of natural numbers, n natural numbers, there is product of n natural numbers also. Yeah, logically correct or not? Sir, if there is sum of n natural numbers, there should be Product of n natural numbers should be there or not, my dear. Yes. So, I'm going to write in different format. That is descending order I'm going to write. This is in ascending order. Na? Only product of n natural number I'm going to write it is in what? Descending order. Correct, na? This way we can write. For example, <coughs> product of 10 consecutive numbers. Consecutive natural numbers. 10, 9, 8, 7. That is 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Is that right, my dear? So, instead of, see, the way summation in, we write it as, what you know, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot dot up to n. Instead of writing it as some symbolic form we are using. Same way, product of n natural numbers also will use some symbolic form. Do you all agree, my dear? So, what is it? I am just going to denote it as n factorial or this way we can draw, denote n factorial. How to read this? What is this, my dear? n factorial. Now tell me, my dear, if 3 factorial, what we will write? What is meant by 3 factorial? 3 into 2 into 1, sir. What is by 5 factorial? 
5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, sir. If I write 10 factorial, what is it? 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Say, sir, no, my dear. So, this is what 10 factorial, this is what 5 factorial, this is what 3 factorial, 2 factorial, something like that. We can write it. So, it is nothing but product of 10 numbers, 10 natural numbers, product of 15 natural numbers. Instead of saying like this, denoting like 10 factorial, 15 factorial, that's it. Is that clear, my dear? So, first you remember this factorial notation. Next term. Fundamental principle on multiplication, we say. Let me talk about fundamental principle on multiplication now. Okay. Fundamental principle on multiplication. For example, any one person, that is any of you, are traveling from, uh, for example, uh, anywhere like, you know, Kovalam to West Mambalam. A student is coming from Kovalam to West Mambalam. A student is coming from Kovalam to West Mambalam. But there is no direct bus route from Kovalam to West Mambalam. What he has to do? He has to get down at Adair. From Adair, he needs to change the bus. Okay. He has to get down at Adair and he has to change the bus from Adair. So, Kovalam to Adair, Adair to West Mambalam. This is the way he has to travel. There is no direct bus route from Kovalam to West Mambalam. So, he has to get down at Adair and he has to travel from Adair, uh, Adair to West Mambalam. Now, look at this. For example, if there are five bus routes available between Kovalam to Adair, there are Adair to West Mambalam. How many bus routes available? Four bus routes available. How many available? Four bus routes available. So, from Kovalam to Adair, there are how many bus routes? 5 and from Adaya to West Mamalam, how many? 4. No, sir, there are uh, many bus routes are available. So, only one bus route. It's just an example I'm saying. Okay. Now, the question is going to be in how many ways the person is going to reach West Mamalam from Kovalam? In how many ways the person who is going to reach from West Mamalam to Kovalam? This is the question. <clears throat> In how many ways he can reach? How many possible ways he can reach? Huh? 4 factor into 5 factor. Now listen here. <clears throat> how he has to travel? Tell me. Kovalam to Adair. This is the first thing he has to do. Am I right, my dear? And next, what he has to do? Adaya to West Mambalam. In between, and should come or or should come. That you decide. And only. Correct. Now, logically, and only. Sir, I am coming from Kovalam. I will get down to Adaya. And from Adaya, I will take one bus. And I will come to West Mambalam. In between, what statement we are using? What we are using? Connective word. It is and only. So, you understood this? Now, how many bus routes available from Kovalam to Adaya? Mathematically, what is AND stands for? Adaya to West Mambalam. What is your answer? Over. So, in how many ways you are traveling from Kovalam to West Mambalam, my dear? 20 ways. Okay. This is what we call as onward journey. Now, tell me in how many ways you can reach from West Mambalam to Kovalam? Same 20 only, na? Same 20 only, right? The same 20 only. That's it. Now, now next question is, same same example, huh? next question. In how many ways you can make, in how many ways you can make return journey? That is also 20. Wow, fantastic. That is also 20. Sir, what is my return journey, sir? Kovalam to Vesmambalam. That is my onward. Okay, return journey means from... That is my return journey, sir. Both are one and the same, now, sir. My dear Arival is wrong. It is like, you know, Vadivel comedy, you know. Either A, O. Then you go and stand there. From there you call either A, O. It is not like that. 
the meaning of return journey is okay the meaning of return journey is when you can make a return journey after reaching the place when again you are going back that is what return journey am i right my dear the meaning of return journey is kovalam to vesmambalam and vesmambalam to kovalam this is what return journey do you all agree say yes or no kovalam to vesmambalam vesmambalam to this is what return journey is that clear my dear kovalam to vesmambalam vesmambalam to kovalam this is what return journey now tell me my dear in how many ways we can make the return journey tell me very good excellent superb what is it can we check tell me about the best mom tell me about the return journey the process kovalam tell me to adyar and 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 or r and best mom lam to and adyar to Kovalam to Adyar, how many bus routes? And, 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 what is it? Adya. Adya. Four hundred. How can you add? I asked you one question in between. I don't know whether because the moment you said forty, I understood what you did is a mistake. I asked you one thing in this place. I asked. Should it be and or r? You said and. I did not say anything, so I put it. That is and. You are right. <clears throat> the logic is correct, but what you did? Multiplication. You are not supposed to add. What you did, my dear? You added. You have added. What is it? Five into four into four into five. Is that right, my dear? Yes. Now, can we have a twist here? Can we have a small twist? Same. Kovalam to Vespamalam. Small twist. What is the twist? You know, sir. I would like to make a return journey. I would like to make a return journey. But the bus route which I used for the onward journey, <coughs> same bus route. I should not use it for the return journey. <coughs> Listen here. Let me take it as A to B, B to C. Okay. Column to area, area to West Mambalam. Column to area. How many bus routes? <coughs> Four. Now, what is the constraint here? the bus route which i which i've used for onward journey the same bus route i should not use it for the return journey in how many ways it can be done my dear if you think you can give me the answer 499 na huh? 3 ah see return journey ma'am yeah it's a return journey no not return journey means going and coming back is called return journey the condition is the bus route you was using for the Onward journey, the same bus route you are not supposed to use it for the return journey. Two forty is correct. Excellent. One forty four is wrong. Sir, why two forty is correct, sir? Hey, my dear, look at this. The bus route which I was using for the onward journey was not supposed to. <coughs> he was not supposed to use it for the return. Now tell me, bus route he was using for the onward journey. What is it? Correct, Aliyama. The bus route he was using for the onward journey. The same bus route he should not use it for the return journey. This is onward journey and return journey. For example, now he has to travel from C to B. How many bus routes are available from C to B? Say loudly. Three. Why, sir? Same bus route he should not use, na sir. Then one is removed, na sir. Only three, na sir. And B to A. Very good. Over. Right, Aleba. So, what is your answer now? Two forty. Is it clear, all of you? So, five into four into. We are not doing time pass. Actually, we used at least solved ten to fifteen questions now from the additional question bank. Okay. Now, let me ask you one question. You understood this? Now, for example, from the Mumbai to uh, uh, sorry Chennai to Mumbai, there are ten train routes. I should make a return journey. In how many ways I can make a return journey? Hundred. Very good. How how many ways I can make the return journey? My dear children, please understand the meaning of return journey is going and coming back. For going, how many train routes? 
Coming back, how many 10 roads? 10. So 10 and 10, which is nothing but? Excuse me. Greta going and coming back. Now listen here, my dear. Next part. In how many ways I can make a return journey, but the train which train route which I used for onward should not be used for return. That's 90. It. 90. Very good. 90. Because for co going 10, for coming back, how many? 9 only, sir. The train which I used for onward journey, I should not use it for comeback, sir. Same as say, sir, no, my dear. Yeah. Have you seen the number log before? Number log. Number log. Uh, not your mobile phone. Suitcase and all used to be there. Na? Three rings used to be there. And we used to have the combination. That is what we called as number lock. Okay. Now, can you tell me in how many ways and how many com <coughs> how many combination or how many ways I can open the suitcase? How many? That is in how many ways I can open the suitcase? How, how many like, you know, Correct attempt to open the suitcase. Only one. Correct? Huh? Okay. And let us understand. There are there is a number lock with three rings. Okay. Now, how many wrong attempts? That is the question. How many wrong attempts is the question. Now, listen here, my dear. Let us understand the question first. Ring. Okay. So there is a ring. Okay. What are the numbers used to be there, my dear? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Bala. Close the door, Bala. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Second. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Third. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Combinations used to be there. What are the combinations you will have? Sir, in generally what all the suitcases, most of the suitcases, the combination is 0, 0, 0, 0. <coughs> repetitions are allowed now first ring how many numbers are available and uh, for the second ring 10 and uh, total 1000 attempts 10 into 10 into 10 out of 1000 attempts one is right am I right my dear if I remove it what is remaining these 999 attempts are wrong. For example, any suitcase you got with a number like that. So now digital lock has come. In our period, there used to be what you know, number lock. This is the way it used to come. If we have patience, if we have patience, we can easily open any lock. Correct now? So in mobile also, we used to have you know four combinations. Digital lock now, four combinations. Now it became six. Now it became patterns. Pattern is very, very difficult. But uh, four combinations are then numbers. Four number, four uh, digit number if you make it. We can have what? Easily open it. Maximum how many tries should make? Maximum how many tries should make to open your number lock? Open your phone. 9,999. That is the reason after three attempts, your phone is getting locked. Anyone can open your mobile phone. Okay, if they have the patience of using that 9,999. Okay, for example, the combination will come in between. Now, four digits means it's very simple. 0, 0, 0, <coughs> 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, four zeros. One combination, I'll try that. Will not happen. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. 0, 0, 0, 0, 3. I'll keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. So many, how many attempts I will have? 9,999 attempts. Total, there are 10,000 attempts. Out of 10,000 attempts, one attempt is going to be right. Say so or no, my dear. So, wrong attempts is going to be 9,999. Is it clear? This is what we called as fundamental principle on multiplications, my dear. These type of questions only will be asked in the fundamental principle on multiplication. Nothing else. Nothing else. You understood or not? Sir, will these be questions can be asked in the exam? Of course, my dear, these questions are generally asked in the examinations. We need to prepare for it. I think this attempt, last June attempt, one question came, fundamental principle on multiplication. Okay. So, this concept is very important. Let us not ignore this concept. Now,
first let us start from factorial notation what is factorial notation i'll tell you n factorial is equal to what am i right my dear now what is 1 factorial is equal to 0 factorial is equal to that is also 1 what is the advantage of factorial notation for example 18 factorial divided by 16 factorial it has to be simplified how to simplify that Am I right, my dear? Wherever you want to stop, you have to stop it and cancel it. That is what the factor notation advantage. Okay, my dear. Now let us understand one important thing. Let us understand one important thing. Look at this. There are four persons and there are four chairs. In how many ways they can be accommodated? There are four persons and four chairs. In how many ways they can be accommodated? Each person should get one chair only. Okay, not one and the above. Okay, each person should get what? One chair only. In how many ways they can be accommodated? Okay, now tell me my dear. For the first person, how many chairs are available? And uh, so what should come? For the second person. Why? Sir, one chair is already occupied, sir. Should I write and or or? And. And. Instead of writing like this, can I say four factorial? If four people, four chairs, simply I can say four factorial ways I can arrange. Five people, five chair. In five factorial I arrange. Ten people are there and ten chairs to be arranged. 10 factorial. Is that right, my dear? So, if they are equal, then I can use the same factor notation. Say yes or no, my dear. Now, the same way, let me ask you one question. This is 5 or 10, okay. Uh, 5 people. There are 5 people. And we have to arrange them among themselves. I have to arrange them among themselves. Like, you know, these are the 4 people. And I have to arrange these four people among themselves. The meaning of among themselves is, you know, I'll remove all four out. For the first person, how many seats will be available? Second person, third person, fourth person. That means 24 ways I can accommodate them. I can arrange them. Do you all agree, my dear? The Out of 24, this is one among one arrangement. Am I right? This is one arrangement. Say yes or no. Tomorrow, Another arrangement possible. So, in how many days they can have different, different arrangements? 24 days, they can have different, different arrangements. You got my point, my dear. Out of 24, this is one of the arrangement. Is that correct? So, sir, when there are four people, if I have to arrange them among themselves, simply I'll write four factorial, sir. If there are five people, you have to arrange them among themselves. How many ways you'll arrange? Please understand the word. Sir, there are five physics books. Can be arranged among themselves in? Say loudly. This is what amongst themselves five physics books can be arranged among themselves is what because all five books are arranged huh? all five books are arranged five factorial ways this this way only okay number of people and the chairs number of people and chairs same way shelf there will be places there are places on the shelf first book five places out of five, any place it will come second book one place got occupied <laughs> third book, fourth book, fifth book. Am I right, my dear? So, among themselves. What is it, my dear? Among themselves. Five physics books can be arranged among themselves in five factorial. Five people can be arranged among themselves in five factorial ways. So, please understand the word among themselves. These are very, very important keywords. See, you may be wondering, sir, why sir is talking about these things? See, actually, it is like, you know, movie. Slowly, I will reveal one by one. If you can answer these kind of simple, simple questions, when an actual problem, when it comes, nah, you don't require my support only. Simply, you will give me the answer. Okay, my logic is very simple. In permutation, I will solve two questions and you will solve 200 questions. This is what the logic. So, for that, we need to work. 
we need to work on foundation that is this is very important the concept is very important sir okay <clears throat> now automatically in your mind another question would have come sir what if what if there are 10 chairs but there are only four people so far what happened everything is equal everything was equal everything was equal sir five chairs five people correct four chairs four people five books arranged among themselves four people arranged among themselves so very simple but what if out of four people out of 10 chairs four people to be arranged or among 10 people only four to be arranged among 20 people 15 to be arranged they are not equal you understand what i are you understood the question my dear sir out of five people three to be arranged you are a team setter in your friend's team okay there are 10 people set and only three people are going for movie and three people to be arranged so obviously what happens my dear this is changing so condition is changing our 10 out of 10 going means rightly you'll be writing this 10 factorial but if you are not doing 10 out of 10, what are you doing? 10 out of 3. See, 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. Am I right, my dear? Yes, it is ulta. It is reverse. Say yes or no, my dear. So, let me come to that point. You are only going to give me the answer. I am not going to do anything. Now, for the first person, how many chairs are available? Huh? For the first person, how many chairs are available? And or or. And. Okay. And. For the second person. And or or. And. Six. Five. Why? So four people arrange that. Then why we have to arrange more people? Am I right? This is the answer. 10 into 9 into 8 into 7. Am I right? But this is the answer. This is the answer. You are right. I say, I said, now you will be giving me the answer. Sir, if, for example, if there are five people <coughs> to be accommodated on seven chairs. Seven into six into uh, three into two into one into four. <laughs> there are only four seats, right? Okay. Let it be. Listen here, my dear. Small mathematical adjustment now, now I'm going to make here. I hope you only got this. Am I right? I'm going to arrange a small mathematical arrangement. So please, in just one sec, listen here. I'm going to convert this into factorial notation. I'm going to convert this into factorial notation. I'm going to convert this into factorial notation. So to convert it into factorial notation, what should I do? Multiply 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If I multiply the remaining 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, can I directly write it as 10 factorial? Say yes or no. I said to convert it into factorial notation. Is this a way of converting it into factorial notation? Say yes or no, my dear. Say loudly, man. But mathematically, it is not possible. Anything you want to multiply it is not possible. If I multiply something, what should I do? Divide by the same. Now tell me, what is numerator? Wow, fantastic. 10 factorial. Superb. What is denominator? Are a brilliant man. 6 factorial. Both are one and the same or not, my dear? Say yes or no. Now, 10 factorial. Can I write this 6 factorial as in terms of 10 and 4? Because these two numbers only involved in a 10 and 4. Can I write the 10 factorial, sorry, four, 6 factorial is 10 minus 4 factorial. Say yes or no? Say yes or no? <coughs> Actually, what you did, you know, sir, among 10 chairs, we have arranged 4 people. Am I right, my dear? Among 10 chairs, we have arranged 4 people. Sir, 10, 4, 10 factorial, 10 minus 4. Now you tell me, my dear, among N chair, if I arrange R people, how can I write, my dear, same role? Can I, can I apply? N factorial 
this is the formula that's it you derived that formula so what is npr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factor sir arrangement you are talking about arrangement why we are using the letter p sir see arrangement mathematically we are do calling it as what you know permutation so out of 10 people out of 10 chairs i need to accommodate how many chair how many people my dear 10 p 4 20 3 to be accommodated say loudly say loudly man out of out of 15 7 to be accommodated 15 p 7 out of 10 people 3 to be arranged 10 p 3 out of 7 people 4 to be arranged out of 8 people 9 to be arranged not possible 8 people 9 can you arrange i said 8 people out of 8 people 9 to be arranged is it possible no. out of 8 all 8 to be arranged 8 8 p 8 which is nothing but 8 factorial am i right my dear sir all 8 to be arranged among themselves sir that's what the meaning am i right my dear you understood this now tell me out of 7 3 to be arranged out of 20, 18 to be arranged. 20, P18. Please understand the word arranged, 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 arranged. Whenever I use arranged, obviously permutation will come. Out of 8 letters, 7 to be arranged. 8. Out of 7 letter word, 3 letter word to be formed. 7P3. Emma, three letter word to be formed means it is nothing but arrangement only. In a seven letter word, three letter to be formed. Three letter word to be formed. What is it? 7P3. It is also arrangement only. Say yes or no, my dear. Correct. Yes. This is what permutation is. So, what is NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. I think now you can easily remember it as a formula. NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. N is always greater than or equal to R. Next. What is NPN equal to? N factorial. 10P10 10 equal to what? 10 factorial. So what is NPN equal to? N factorial. Is that clear all of you? Yes. Now listen here. In another 20 minutes, you will learn entire permutation concept in another 20 minutes. Is there is any doubt here? If, do you have any doubt here? Yes. In 20 minutes, you are going to learn the entire permutation concept. And after that, without my support, you can easily will be able to solve the questions on your own. Okay. Let's start. Listen here. For example, if they ask you to find out the value of 10p2, what do we do? We use the formula. 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 2 factorial, which is 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial, which is 10 into 9 into 8 factorial divided by... Instead of doing these many steps, simply what you do, you know, what is here? 10 and what is here? It is nothing but product of two consecutive numbers from 10 in descending order. For example, 5P3. Instead of applying the formula, what you should write? 5 into 4 into 3. 10P18. I see. 20P18. 20 into 19 into 18 into 17 into 6. Okay. Yes. 10P7. 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Am I right, my dear? 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4. This is 10p7. Don't use the formula every time. So what is my 5p2? 5 into 4. Sir, product of two consecutive numbers. Sir, what is 6p3? So the 3 stands for 3 consecutive numbers. So actually what we are doing in permutation, we are multiplying 
three consecutive numbers or two consecutive numbers. Actually, we are multiplying consecutive numbers. If there is six p two, two consecutive numbers. Six p three, three consecutive numbers. Am I right, my dear? Okay. Now, so this is see these are small small basics. Before I enter into the problems, I want you to understand these things. Okay. Is there is any problem you face, my dear? You understood this? We have not entered into the topic. Okay. That is fundamental principle multiplication is over in permutation. We have not entered. But before entering, I want to clarify these things because. I may go little fast when it comes to calculation, and I want you to come in my speed. For that only, I'm working on this. Is there clear any doubt? If it is eight p two, what is it? Can fifty six return in product of two consecutive numbers? Yes, eight p two is actually fifty six. What about thirty? Product of two consecutive numbers, twelve can be written as four into three, which is nothing but. Four p two. Now reverse question. Let me ask. Let me ask you the reverse question. Ten into seven into eight. How can we write? Ten p. Very good. Twenty into eighty. Nineteen into eighteen. Twenty. Five into four into three into two. Is it nothing but five p five? Because last number is one only, na? Is it nothing but five factorial? Five p four is nothing but five factorial. Six p five is nothing but seven p six is nothing but. Do you all agree with this? Am I a lot small small logics, my dear? Small small logics, but it is going to help in big time. Okay, so can we say n p n minus one is also n factorial? If you have written this in beginning, in the beginning itself, you would not understand this. But now you only said, sir, six p five is six factorial only, sir. Ten p nine is nothing but ten factorial only, sir. Correct? Ten p nine is nothing but ten factorial only, sir. Five p four is nothing but five factorial only, sir. Logically, you are applying it or not, my dear? Yes. Okay. Now listen here, my dear. Let us come to the point. Arrangement, permutation. Okay. Don't sleep. Just come here. It's a very very important concept. Once it is done, then you can do everything on your own. Let me take my famous example. Always I used to take this example. Without restriction. With restriction. Without restriction and what? With restriction. There are two types, sir. What is meant by without restriction? With restriction, sir. Restriction means what, my dear? Constraints, conditions. Okay, what is it? Conditions. I will tell you. What is condition? Four people are there, na? If they want to sit anywhere, any that is in that four chairs, anything, any seat can be occupied. Means no constraint, no restriction. If he says, sir, I will sit next to him only, sir. Condition. That is what constraint. That is what condition. You understand, my dear? If you say no, sir, I will not sit with him, sir. Condition. I will sit only with him, sir. Condition. Sir, I can sit anywhere, sir. So or that, sir, mukhya. It is not condition. No constraint. Is that right, my dear? No constraint. You understood this or not, my dear? This is what with constraint, without constraint. Is that clear, all of you? With constraint and without constraint. Is that clear, all of you? Say yes or no. Okay. Now, there are. Let me just take my famous example. There are ten students going for a jailer movie. Yes. Among ten students, let us assume there are five boys and five girls. How many boys and how many girls, my dear? Five boys and five girls.
okay listen here there are five boys and five girls now 10 students are going for a movie of course in movie theater there will be ticket uh, seat numbers and all will be accommodated i think all 10 seats consecutive seats are given if there is no constraint in how many ways they can be accommodated my dear say loudly how many ways that's it no sir 10 factorial sir no condition they can sit anywhere wherever they want to sit they can sit okay so this is what i said no constraint this is what i said no constraint no restriction okay now there are five physics books four chemistry books three mathematics books to be arranged on a shelf in how many ways they can be accommodated how how can be it can be arranged 12 factorial there it is sir what or book it might be there are 12 books because you did not say any condition 12 factorial is that right my dear say yes or no yeah this is what without constraint now come to this 10 students example how many boys and how many girls five boys and five girls now the first constraint all the boys are together all the girls are together that is a constraint what is it my dear boys are together girls are together boys are together that means five boys five girls this is the way we have to sit there is a constraint now look at this my dear how can we make it two boys are two ways how fine what about those five boys within them we need to arrange the girls how to arrange within them we have to arrange na ema first what we need to do i'll tell you the procedure now mathematically what you understood is perfectly correct what she said you know sir 10 seats first five seats can be accommodated by boys second five seats can be accommodated by girls now girls empowerment comes why always boys comes first we also can come and sit right so first five seats can be accommodated by and the second five seats can be accommodated by two arrangements are there either boy girl girl boy either boy girl or girl boy now tell me boy girl is one arrangement or addition or girl boy is another another arrangement so that is what i said or means addition so two ways that's it now sir first let me take five first five seats accommodated by boys in how many ways this those five people can be accommodated so first i need to arrange the boys in how many ways they can be accommodated five factorial ways consider the mass one rule you remember consider the mass five girls to be accommodated in how many ways consider the mass one in how many in how many students are there in front of you now two i told you consider them as one how many students are there in front of you these two students can be arranged among themselves in two now what is the answer five factorial five factorial two factorial i am right my dear see look at this my dear five factorial consider them as one five factorial consider them as one into what two factorial into what two factorial is that clear my dear 5 factorial into 5 factorial into 2 factorial look at this physics chemistry maths in how many ways the books can be accommodated sorry can can be arranged so that all the physics books are together chemistry books are together chem max books are together <coughs> say loudly into brilliant why sir there are three subjects sir all the subject books are together sir among physics books there is no, there is a, there is no constraint so they can be arranged among themselves so in many ways three five factorial physics books five factorial ways chemistry books max books so is it five factorial into four factorial into three factorial say yes or no how many subjects are there in front of you so into three factorial am i right my dear you understood or not any doubt here now another beautiful constraint i'm going to give you yes 
Now listen here. Letters of the word equation. In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged? 8 factorial. Because sir, you did not say any constraint, sir. Okay. How many vowels? 5. How many consonants? In how many ways it can be arranged so that all the vowels are together, consonants are together? 5 factorial into 3 factorial into 2 factorial. Emma, logic da. See, this one logic you need to understand. That's it. From here, any questions are coming. You can easily will be able to answer. Any questions they are asking. Only this is the logic. Whatever logic I am going to give here, only I am going to give. So, this example, I will be explaining. For these two examples, now onwards, you are going to give me the answer. Okay. Now, let me go to the condition again. 10 students condition. Let us assume... <coughs> There is a Jodi in that couple of Jodi among the 10 students. There is a Jodi among 10 students. There is a Jodi among Jodi means there is a couple. So what is the constraint here? Huh? Experience with ya? Huh? Yes, they should be together. Sir, sir couple means they have to sit together. Only, sir. How can they? Uh, my my uh, girlfriend or boyfriend should sit with other people, sir. They have to together, right? Okay, that's a condition. So, out of uh, 10 people, come here, my dear. Out of 10 people, there is a couple. There is a Jodi. Always they want to sit together. Am I right? Please look at my fingers, my dear. 10 people. Please look at my finger. 10 people. Let me call these two are Jodis. And they always want to sit together. Is there is any constraint among these two people? Sir, I want to sit on the right hand side of my girlfriend, left hand side. No, sir. Pakkat lo kanda pose, sir. Okay. There is no constraint among these two people. Say yes or no, my dear. So, they can be accommodated in how many ways? Two factorial ways. Always you say factorial. Huh? Always you say two factorial. See, two factorial is nothing but two only. No changes. But always try to say two factorial, three factorial. This is always a good practice. So, these two people can be arranged among them. So, how many ways? And consider them as... One. Now in front of you, how many students? Now give me the answer. Nine factorial into four answer. Nine factorial into two factorial. Am I right, my dear? Nine factorial into wait, wait. More example will come. Don't worry. Out of ten students, if three wants to sit together, don't call them as Jody for some reason. Three wants to sit together. Okay, three wants to sit together. In how many ways they can be accommodated? Tell me. Three factorial. Aina. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three factorial into eight factorial. Am I right, my dear? Now, for example, only four are together. Four factorial into seven factorial. 4 factor into? That's it. Is that clear, my dear? Say yes or no? Yes. Say loudly, my dear. Is it right? Now, 5 boys, 5 girls. Now, let me come to the condition. Only boys are together. Only boys are together. Ah, I love you, man. 5 factor into 6 factorial. That's it. Why, sir? Only boys are together. 5 factorial. Consider them as 1. Total how many are there? 6. So, 5 factor into? Say yes or no, my dear. 5 factorial into? Now come to equation example. Vowel and consonant. In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged so that only vowels are together? 5 factorial into? 4 factorial. First have some confidence in you, my dear. You are right. 5 factorial into? In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged so that only the consonants are together? All them, 3 factor into 6 factorial. Now come to this. Physics, chemistry, maths. Books to be arranged. In how many ways the books can be arranged on a shelf so that only physics books are together? All them, 5 factorial into 8 factorial. Why, sir? Only physics books are together, no, sir? 5 factorial. Sir, remaining there are 7 books, sir. Consider this 5 books as 1 book only, sir. So is it 5 factorial into... 
எயிட் ஃபேக்டர் இல்லையா ஹரீஷ் சீனி உங்க வேலை உள்ள பாக்கு தனியா பாக்குறதா இருந்தா கீழே போய் பாரு ஓகே வாட் இஸ் எட் ஃபைவ் ஃபேக்டர் இன்டூ எயிட் ஃபேக்டர் சே லவுட்லி ஃபைவ் ஃபேக்டர் இன்டூ ஓகே ஒன்லி மேக்ஸ் புக்ஸ் ஆர் டுகெதர் த்ரீ ஃபேக்டர் இன்டூ டென் ஃபேக்டர் ஒன்லி கெமிஸ்ட்ரி புக்ஸ் ஆர் டுகெதர் ஃபோர் ஃபேக்டர் இன்டூ நைன் ஃபேக்டர் எல்லாம்ப்பா இதுதான் என்ன பண்ணுவாங்க நினைக்கு people will give it as a formula n minus r factor into n minus r plus 1 factor into r factor this is a formula for example five vowels three consonants na five vowels three consonants only consonants are together only consonants are together this is the question what is the answer only consonant according to our three factor into this is the answer am i right my dear three factor into okay now let me apply this formula total how many letters and uh, how many together eight minus three five plus one is this is mathematical approach this is what the approach what you have done now am i right my dear n minus r plus one factor into r factorial or otherwise sir Three people together, sir. See, simply over. Correct, na? This, you will never forget only. Correct or not, my dear? Say yes or no. So, now, let me ask you one question here. Let me ask you one question. Uh, couple is there, right? Jodi. Out of 10 people, there is a Jodi. Now, uh, they always want to sit on the corner seats. okay corner seats in how many ways they can be accommodated two factorial four factorial four yam bahar de two factor into here you are doing mistake two factor into eight factorial because corner seats only they are going to accommodate See, logically, you approach, you forget about mathematics. See, there are 10 seats, sir. How many corner seats will be there? Two corner seats. They are accommodated. Two factorial ways. That's it. Do we have to consider them now? No. Remaining, how many seats are there? And how many people are there? In how many ways I can accommodate them? So, answer is two factorial into eight factorial. See, previous cases, what you know, two people are together they can be accommodated anywhere but here condition is there those two are going to be seated there only their seats are fixed in the initial case seats were not fixed okay let it be so you understand this logic my dear you understood this concept okay now we'll slowly we'll learn don't worry because so many questions are there ah now out of 10 students there is a jody some uh, during interval there is a popcorn fight okay between the jodi now what is the condition they don't want to sit together correct they don't want to sit together no sir i will not sit with him sir okay i will not sit with her sir some fight what is meant by not together what is meant by not together for example i am also one among the student i am the there is i have my girlfriend now okay now there is a fight along with my 10 students i went okay assuming myself as a student now listen here my dear i have a fight with my girlfriend now what is the condition we do not sit together what is mean by that no i don't want to sit my the meaning of i don't want to sit with my girlfriend what is mean by that ah that means you will come in between or you two can come in between or three can come in between or four can come in between say sir no my dear someone will come in between am i right my dear someone or some many can come in between say sir no my dear 
either one person can come or two persons can come it's based on the fight okay the amount of uh, fight actually the distance will increase okay just imagine you are sitting you have fight what we say eh nee andri ninda pakwa nanda pakwa vikra we say this or not correct or not my dear this is what we do eh nee machi ninda pakwa da nanda pakira nanda pakwa we say that or not yes see the number of seats remain same only we are shifting the places you agree it or not my dear what we say are you come and sit here i'll come there this is the way we are going to accommodate we cannot go and sit in a somebody else place within our group you can change the group change the places say yes or no my dear so this is what not together condition first condition is what together we did now not together okay please come here so total how many students 10 how many have problem remaining 8 do they have any problem so they can be accommodated in how many ways they can be accommodated in how many ways am i right my dear they can be accommodated in how many ways eight factorial ways is that clear all of you now total how many seats actually 10 remember two have the problem for example one person is sitting here the second person where will sit for the second person in between one person can come this is one combination am i right my dear or two persons can come in between or three persons can come in between or 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 so total how many places available for those two people nine places available for those two people am i right my dear emma out of these nine nine two people will be accommodated am i right see konjam yosichu paarengala look at this my dear but now they are deciding they don't want to sit together okay what's your name adish your name monish adish and monish they don't want to sit together now adish uh, monish saying what's your name jawhar ah sorry hey jawhar ninda pakka vada nanda pakka pikra within that four place only so for these two people how many seats can be accommodated now for two people five places are available oh, sorry three places are available you are right how many places are available three places he can go there jawhar can come here or what's your name kaushik can come here he can go there correct within jawhar and kaushik they can be seated among uh, themselves total how many places will be available my dear three places will be available konja practical ah yosichu paarenga formula i will give you want formula or you want to understand practically if you understand practically you don't require formula at all directly will give the answer correct ah so remember in short sir total 10 people Eight people doesn't have any problem, huh? Ah, you go to Marla. That's what you go to Marla. Ah, Matri is another one. You go to Marla, ma. Yara, worth it. Just an artal maru mudiyo. Two pair me orin artal maru mati galla. Ipo in that in that dark galla, in the umbo that dark galla, in the umbo le ning yar mana londu karna galla. Ipo idhe prachna moni shoda prachna vana ko nulla. நீ யோசி பாரு உனக்கு பாரு ஆமா வராங்க இப்போ கரெக்ட் தானே அது என்ன நடக்குது ஒண்ணு இல்ல நீங்க ரெண்டு பேரும் வெளில வாங்க இப்போ வாப்பா இங்க நாலு சீட்டு தான் இருக்கு என்ன ஹவு மெனி சீட்ஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் ஓன்லி போர் சீட்ஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் ஓகே ஜாவர் கொஞ்சம் நான் வந்து உட்காரு இந்த பக்கம் only four seats are available okay only four seats are available wait hey uh, online students you can also watch now ha ah, okay seriya inda pakka ama konja inda board kitta vaanga fine so uh, those two people are there right hey nee konja inda pakka va ha okay total how many seats are there how many seats are there four one correct 2 3 4 
இதுக்குள்ள தான் மாத்தணும் only these two four places i have to change am i right okay now listen here for both of you you are not sitting together now okay you cannot sit together now tell me how many places available for both of you உங்க ரெண்டு பேருக்கு சேர்த்து எத்தனை பிளேஸ் அவைலபிள் இருக்குன்னு சொல்லுங்க ஹவு மெனி பிளேசஸ் அவைலபிள் ஃபார் போத் ஆஃப் யூ வேர் அது எத்தனை பேருக்கு உங்க ரெண்டு பேருக்கு அதான் நீங்க அதுக்குள்ள எப்படி வேணா மாத்திப்பீங்க இந்த த்ரீல ஹவு மெனி பிளேசஸ் அவைலபிள் த்ரீ ஹவு மெனி டு பி அகாமடேட்டட் இன் ஹவு மெனி வேஸ் கேன் பி அகாமடேட்டட் த்ரீ பி டூ ஐ மை ரைட் இதே இது ஃபோர் பீப்புள் ஆர் தேர் சாரி தட் இஸ் இங்க இதே இது Uh, so for example inga rendu per irukanga la four are there total six four are there these two people are not available uh, cannot be sit together now tell me my dear five p2 superb four irundha na aniki five 10 irundha four irundha na five 10 irundha yan parikringa kootunga eppa purinjadhu anukku neenga dhaan pa maarikringa unga ishtham dhaan maarringa ungalku ethana edam irukku நீ எப்படி தினம் புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்ட நீ உன் இடத்துலயே உட்காந்துக்கிற அவனை மட்டும் தான் மாத்திரன்னு நீ புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்ட கரெக்டா இல்லையா நீ அப்படி புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்ட அப்படி கிடையாது நான் ரெண்டு பேரும் தான் மாத்திட்டு இருக்கேன் நான் அவனை மட்டும் மோனிஷம் மட்டும் இது பண்ணிக்கல சரியா இப்ப புரிஞ்சுதான் அவங்களுக்கு மொத்தம் மூணு இடம் இருக்கு மூணுத்துல எவ்வளவு பேர் போடுவீங்க நீங்க ரெண்டு மூணுல எவ்வளவு பேர் அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணணும் ரெண்டு த்ரீ பி டூ பேஸ் உனக்கு ரெண்டு பேரும் சேர்த்து எத்தனை இடம் இருக்கு ஒன்னு Yes. Listen here. I think you got the answer, my dear. Do we have any constraint for these eight people? So they can be accommodated in how many ways? How many places will be available for the two? Out of nine? Two to be arranged. Out of nine, how many to be arranged? ஒன்னுக்குள்ளீஸ் <laughs> So these two can be accommodated in how many ways? 9, P, 2, ways. So what is total number of ways? 8 factor into 9, P, 2. What is it? 8 factor into 9, P, 2. Is that right, my dear? 8 factor into? Now, same, 10 students. 3 doesn't want to sit together. 3 doesn't want to sit together. 7 factorial into 9. all of the 8p3 out of 10 students these four also among 10 and they are deciding we don't want to sit next to each other 6 factorial baranga four people not together 6 factorial into 7p4 am i right my dear five boys five girls boys doesn't want to sit next to each other 5 factorial into 6p5 very good now i hope you understood this now let me come to physics chemistry example books to be arranged on a shelf physics books are not together eight p5 seven factorial into avlo dhan pa okay chemistry books are not together yes. 
Mag's books are not together. 10p3. All the Amundi books. Correct, Ali, Abba. See, this is what we need to do. Let us the formula put in. You will be using formula n factorial minus n minus r plus 1 factorial into r factorial. Why formula is needed? Yeah, I know formula. Don't worry. Okay, I know formula. But if you understand like this, you will never forget it. Do you all agree with me, my dear? I think you can easily do it. Now, equation. In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged so that no consonants are together. 6P3. 5 factorial into? In how many ways the equation of the word, the letter of the word equation can be arranged so that Vowels are not together. Three factorial into not possible. Three factorial into four p five is coming, which is not possible at all. Emma, n is always what more than or equal to r. It cannot be less than r. Say so or no. That's it. Ah, okay. Shh. You understood this, my dear? Have you all understood this? Actually, it's over. Okay, almost completed. Entire permutation is getting over except a digit problem and circular permutation. See, permutation is of two types. One is linear. Other one is whatever we are doing, it is linear. So, let us talk only about linear. Linear means straight line. Arrangement on the straight line. Circular means on the round table and all we are arranging, it is called circular. Now look at this, my dear. In how many ways the letters of the word arranged can be arranged? In how many ways the letters of the word arranged can be arranged? In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged? 8 factorial. Same only, no constraint. But why you are not giving me the answer proper? Why you are just hesitating to give me the answer, sir? A repeated twice, sir. R repeated twice, sir. So that's what you are hesitating. So far, repetition you have not seen. Here, first time repetition have come. Okay. If there is no repetition, what would be the answer? Seven factorial. Excellent. There is no repetition. What would be the answer? Seven factorial. Huh? No restriction. Yeah, of course. I have not given any restriction. In how many ways the letters of the word arranged can be arranged? But what is the problem here? A repeated twice. R repeated. So, let us assume all the letters are different only. So, what is the answer? But my assumption is wrong. What was my assumption? All are different. It is wrong, right? Sir, A repeated twice. So, I need to rectify my mistake. Do you all ag agree, my dear? Rectify my mistake. How to rectify my mistake, I'll tell you. Seven factorial divided by two factorial into two factorial. Seven factorial divided by what? Two factorial into two factorial. Is that right, my dear? Seven factorial divided by two factorial. Only this much to be followed. Okay. Now tell me. In how many ways the letters of the word Mississippi In how many ways the letters of the word Mississippi can be arranged? Total how many letters? Yes, how many times? Emma, yes, four times. I two times. I also four times. P two times. So this is what we need to do. Is that right, my dear? Say yes or no. Now, look at this. 
in how many ways the letters of the word arrange can be arranged so that r's are together wait 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 so that r's are together you please forget about everything repetition everything you forget go to boys girls example again there are seven students two five boys and two girls okay two girls are together give me the answer six factorial ma first you need to arrange these two together tell me my dear what is it two factorial into do you all agree two factorial into same way total seven letter word both the r's are together that means what will come two factorial into say loudly sir there is repetition sir all of that whatever repetition comes na that has to be divided that's it is that right my dear 2 factor 2 factor cut what is the answer 6 factor divided by 2 factor is that right all of you say yes or no now in how many ways the letters of the word arrange can be arranged so that both the a's are together same correct same now how many vowels how many consonants say loudly two vowels how many vowels how many consonants <laughs> three vowels four consonants sir ye come twice sir please initially we need to assume all are different only because finally i'm adjusting na divided by i'm putting and i'm adjusting it say sir no my dear so now tell me how many ways the letters of the word arrange can be arranged so that all the vowels are together Four and three, four and three. All the vowels are together. Three vowels now. All the vowels are together. Tell me what will come. Three factorial into five factorial. Wow. Three factorial into. But remember, divided by two factorial, two factorial. I hope you understand why we are dividing it by two factorial, two factorial. Why? The repetition, sir. Say yes or no. So in this many ways, I can arrange. Arrange can be arranged. Say yes or no, my dear. Okay. Next, is that clear, all of you? Any doubt here? Say loudly. Any doubt? Okay. Fine. In how many ways arrange can be arranged so that no vowels are together? Four factorial into. All of that. Four factorial into five p three. What is it? Four factorial into. Is that right, my dear? Four factorial into five p three. All of that, na? Divided by two factorial, two factorial. Fantastic. Is it clear? <clears throat> Now, Mississippi. In how many ways the letters of the word Mississippi can be arranged so that all the s are together? Total eleven letters, lama. Total eleven letters, lama. So can we divide into four and seven? Because total four s. Anala tani thena pirchita s. Not s. I will repeat it. Okay. All the s are together. What is the answer? Four factorial into eight factorial divided by four factorial, four factorial, two factorial. Correct. Now, in how many ways the letters of the word arrange can be arranged so that all the r's are together, y's are together, all the a's are together, and all the r's are together. What is the answer? All the a's are together. Two factorial, a's are together. Two factorial, one, two, three, four, five. Two factorial into two factorial into five factorial divided by two factorial into two factorial. Fantastic. Parang over level answer ko dito niya. You understand this? So repetition also you got. Is there is any doubt in repetition, my dear? Is there is any doubt in repetition? Say yes or no. Okay. I hope you understood this. Okay. Let us do some different different type of questions now. See logic concept you understood, so you don't worry about the concept. But same questions I'm not going to ask. Different different questions I'm going to ask. Equation in how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged? 
immediately you said eight factor because I did not say any constraint. Correct? Huh? Now, now the first question is in how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged so that the word always begins with E. You understand my question, my dear? We need to arrange equation. In how many ways the letters of the equation can word uh, letters of the word equation can be so that it always begins with what e? It always begins with what e? Tell me, my dear. Seven factorial, fantastic. Why only seven factorial? So it always begins with e. So first letter is already fixed. First letter and first position is already. So now what to do? Remaining only seven letters to be arranged. That's it. Seven factorial. Correct. In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged so that the word always begins with E, ends with N. <clears throat> Six factorial. Why? Sir, first place is fixed. Last place is fixed. Only in between we have to arrange. Sir, so six factorial. You put to stick it up. In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged so that first letter is always a vowel. Always a vowel. First letter is always vowel. Huh? Five factor into? I'll tell you. The letters of the word always begins with what? Vowels. The letters of the word always begins with what? Vowels. The letters of the word always begins with what? Vowels. Now look at this, my dear. The letters of the word always begins with what? Vowels. Now listen here, my dear. How many vowels are there? How many first places we have got? Only one. Only one. So what should come, my dear? Out of five, only one letter, one place to be arranged. Say yes or no, my dear. There are five vowels, but only one vowel can be arranged. Say yes or no. The letters of the word always begins with vowel. So, first place arranged. How long Five P one into seven factorial. What is it, my dear? Five P one into seven factorial. Say yes or no. Five P one into seven factorial. Say loudly. Five P one into. Now, let me ask you a second question. See, this 5P1 is nothing but what, you know, simply you can write 5. Both are on the same. Begins with vowel, ends with vowel. Very good. 5P2 into, why 5P2 into 6 factorial? There are two places. Now, begins with vowel, ends with vowel. Five vowels are there. Begins with vowel, ends with vowel. There are two places for vowel. 5P2. Any condition for the remaining six places? No, sir. Correct? Now, begins with vowel, ends with consonant. 5P1 into... Oh, you are so much. 5P1 into... 3P1 into... 6 factorial. All of them are going to sir. Begins with vowel, ends with consonant, sir. Vowel 5P1, sir. Ends with consonant 3P1, sir. 6, no problem. Very good. Now, what's in to take Lama? In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged so that consonants only occupy odd places? Consonants only occupy odd places. Look at this. Total, how many letter word, my dear? How many letter word, my dear? Eight. Eight letter word. Eight letters word. Am I right, my dear? Eight letters word. Consonants always occupy the odd place. How many odd places are there? One, two, three, four. Out of four, how many to be arranged? Into what will come? Five factorial. Kanam, what I said. Consonants occupy the odd places. 
I never said equation cannot come in the odd place. Equation should come in the even place. I did not say that. What is the condition? Consonant cannot come in the odd places. Correct or not, my dear? Consonant cannot come in the... It doesn't mean that vowels can come... Oh, sorry, vowels cannot come in the odd place or vowels can only come in the even place. No. If you put 4P4, what will happen? 4P, yeah, whatever, what will happen is you are arranging only 7 letters. Actually, there are 8 letters. 4 odd places, ma. 3 arranged. 1 odd places will be pending. So, there definitely what will come and accommodate? Vowel only will come and accommodate. Got it? Say yes or no. Same logic to be used for repetitions also. Finally, what you will do? Divide by that two factor, whatever. That is repetitions are there. For example, In how many ways the letters of the word arrange can be arranged so that the letter always starts with A, ends with A. Starts with A, ends with A. Starts with A, ends with A. 2P2, that is 2 factorial. 2P2 is 2 factorial. Into Divided by 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Same logic, ma. only repetition comes in, so you have to divide it. That's it. Okay. How many vowels, how many consonants here? 1, 2, 3. 3 vowels, consonants 4. In how many ways the letters of the word equation can be arranged so that begins with vowel, ends with consonant? 3P1 into 4P1 into... 5 factorial divided by all them, pa. full permutation is over except a digit problem. Thank you so much. Can you start doing the problems on your own now? Hey, we solved almost all the problems. From your book, we solved almost all the problems. Now what you are going to do now, you are just going to mark the answers. Did you write anything? No, no. But you could give me the answer orally. That's it. This is what you are going to do. Can we start? Can I give you some problems? We have to do digit problem. After that only I will come to circular problem. First you need to practice. Boy, whatever I did, whether you know it or not, how to check? You need to solve it. Am I right my dear? Are you ready to solve my dear? Online also. Are you ready to solve? Yes, sir. Please take your institute material. Take your institute material. Additional question bank. Please write down. Some number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Up to 8. 10. 11. 10, 11. 14, 15, 16, from 18 to 25, from 18 to 25, 23, 
14, 15, 16. 18 to 25. 18 to 25. 35 to 38, 35, 36, 37, 38. 46, 47, 48, from 51 to 51 to 70, 70, 70 number, 51 to 70, 72, 75, 76, The rest is combination. Yeah. Can anyone tell me how many questions are there? Can you count and let me know? Can you please count and let me know? Only 50? Ah, okay. Shh. As I told you, time is the biggest constraint here, not the this thing. These 50 questions. Time is 10, 10. Okay. 10, 11. Okay. I'm giving you 30 minutes time to solve these 50 questions, which is maximum time. I wanted you to solve it in 15 minutes. But 30 minutes I'm giving because of the first day. Time constraint. Please set your time, my dear. Take your mobile phone or something. Just timer you keep. Let us check how many Ninglo timer at the bottom. First, let us work on time now. Timer, timer, please keep the timer and do it. Check how many minutes you are taking to solve the 50 prob these 50 problems. Please do it. Yes. Listen here. Okay, guys. Please wait. Hope uh, you all tried the last 30 minutes sincerely. Okay. Hope you all tried it sincerely. Did you try sincerely or not? Okay. Please, please don't talk. Listen here. Please. Let me ask you one question, my dear. Were you able to understand the question or not? First, you tell me that. Point number one, right? So, you are able to understand the question. Second, were you able to try it or not? Sir, I, I could try, sir. I am not saying that I know because I understood the question means I can try, right? Yeah. So many problems, you might have got the answers. Many you could not. Am I right? So out of this 50, in that 30 minutes, how many of you solved? Sir, I I, I think I solved at least uh, 25, sir. 1, 2, 3, 4. Very few. Okay. Online, anyone solved at least 25? Yes, sir. Deepa is there. Usma. Okay, fine. Great. So, majority of you are able to solve at least 25, right? But no one completed 50. Is that correct? Okay. So, this is what is happening in paper 3 in exam also. In the question paper, if the same question paper, okay, no changes in the question, same question paper would have been given for Two and a half hours instead of two hours, no one would fail in exam. 
you understand the logic my dear no one will fail instead of 2 hours if it was given for 2 and half hours even 30 minutes extra 30 minutes extra given na no one will fail so here the problem is sir i am not great in mathematics or i am not good in mathematics conceptually i am weak no that is not the real problem right what is the real problem here time constraint so take this note very seriously from day 1 from this time onwards from day 1 let us set the time frame okay this is first day of course slowly only the speed will increase okay let us set the time frame and uh, we will work on based on time see guys you all are good in mathematics you don't worry about that you are not failing you, you are failing because of uh, it is not because of your mathematical skill please understand you have great mathematical skill the problem only is speed let us increase the speed okay let us increase the speed that is where you have to work even for law the problem is you don't remember the section you don't remember the rule and all no the problem is what writing that is the problem you are not writing we are addressing so many issues unnecessarily this is not good that is not good this is not understanding that is not understanding no my dear that is wrong actually we are we are addressing all wrong points actually what you know we have to address the different different points the different point is as far as maths is concerned time is the different point law is concerned writing practice correct so let us work on time at least from today onwards you will all sincerely check your timer because our sessions are going to be like this only today what i did i was not solving the problem i was just explaining the concept i took my own problems not one problems your textbook problems only i took and i was solving the same questions because i remember the questions don't worry so i was solving it now <clears throat> after that you are only doing all the work based on the lecture is that correct my dear the entire sessions are going to be like this only so in the classroom itself you will practice everything okay in the classroom itself we will practice everything but including time management including time management that is the the important thing is what time management okay and after that i'll teach you so many hacks tricks everything i'll teach you you don't worry about it okay now let me check how much time i am taking to solve just approach the same way how i am approaching the same way you also approach there are six routes of journey from station A to station B. In how many ways you may go from A to B and return uh, it for different uh, returning, you make a choice of any other routes. Okay. Is it six is to five, my dear? Six into five, my dear. Is it 30? Okay. If we decided to take the same route, you may do it in dash number of ways. 36. Say so now. Decided to take the same route. You under, hey, Have you got the answer or not, my dear? See, first question is not going. Six. Uh, question, read the question. Six routes of journey from station A to station B. In how many ways you may go from A to B and return? If for returning, you make a choice of any other route. For going six, coming back five. And second question is not going six, coming back also six. Is that right, my dear? What? Oh, returning you may make any of the routes. Sorry. Six into six. You are right. Thank you. If you decided to take the same route, you may do it in six. Why? For coming back one way. Because for going whatever bus route you used, the same bus route only you should have used it for the returning. I am right, my dear. For example, if I used 5E, so when I come out of 6, one bus route you have selected. For coming back, how many bus routes available? For going 6 bus routes, man. For coming back, how many bus routes available? Are you understanding or not? So what is the question, my dear? If you decided to take the same route, you may do it. For example, there are six bus routes available for going any one I used. So for going, how many bus routes for me? Six. 
but for coming back the bus route which i used for going the same bus route i should use it for come back now tell me how many bus routes are available for coming back so what is it 6 into 1 is that right my dear say loudly same route you may do it in the, okay if you decided not to take the same route is it 6 into 5 30 my dear now how many telephone connections may be allotted with eight digits from the number 0 1 2 0 0 9 okay how many digit telephone numbers for the first digit how many digits are available second digit why in telephone number repetitions not allowed or what same numbers can come again and again right same numbers can come again and again for example my number is 9940687199 nine repeated four times i think in your mobile phone also it repetitions are always there mobile telephone numbers repetitions always there am i right my dear so here eight digits means first digit 10 digits are available second digit third digit fourth digit so is my answer is 10 power 8 is my answer is 10 power 8 next how many different ways three rings of a lock cannot combine when each ring has digits 0 to 9 leading to unsuccessful events 999 successful event one very good total number of events i think many might have not got this answer right this is fundamental principle on multiplication look at this a dealer provides you maruti car van in two body patterns and the five different colors how many choices are open to you first maruti car and van so how many divisions are there and among to how many body patterns i have and five is it right my dear answer is over my dear 2 into 2 into 5 because among see two body patterns two brands and five colors and uh, total 20 ways see for example you are planning to buy one car okay uh, scooty you are planning to buy let me take scooty you are planning to buy there are four different colors in the showroom there are four different colors you are going to you are planning to buy scooty but how many choices do you have four why four different colors are there na okay there is scooty there is vespa for example there is scooty there is vespa both are there scooty also there vespa also there and each having four four colors now how many uh, choices you have eight why sir i am open mindedly i am entering sir either i can buy scooty or vespa sir so two ways then in that i four colors are there sir i can select any color sir so into four is that right my dear same way just think about it maruti car van maruti has got two different body patterns van has got two different body patterns and how many colors five colors i am entering into showroom in front of me how many vehicles are going to be there 20 choices are available for me how many choices are available for me see in the showroom there will be only one car or two cars two body patterns may be available okay but how many options choices i will have 20 choices i will have why i will select maruti or van from that any one body pattern i'll select hatchback or sedan hatchback means what you know swift swift mar rakha la hatchback sedan means uh, like you know the uh, desire mari rakha la hatchback the sedan so either sedan or hatchback anything i can select from that i can select any color so these many things are there so 20 you all agree my dear how many of you did not get the answer hope you got these answers right now you understood at least right now find how many five letters id appra potukra pa because it's combination by mistake i gave find how many five letter word can be formed out of the word logarithms 10 p 5 am i right my dear say sir so, no 10 p 5 did you get the answer 10 no. how many ways five sanskrit three english three hindi books be arranged 
keeping books of the same languages together. Five factorial, three factorial, three factorial, three factorial. Am I right, my dear? Combination. Three, ah, arrangement, pa, sorry, pa. Three persons go into railway carriage having eight seats. In how many ways they may occupy the seats? 8P3. You are right, you are right, sorry. Next step. In how many ways can six boys and six girls be seated around? Okay, it's a, it's a round table. It's also a round table. Round table, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, wait for you, I'll Answer on the go and other than Marie. Okay. The number of permutation of the word accountant. What is that? The number of permutation of the word engineering. Is that right? Option A. They love much being assassination. Option A. Operating now. Allahabad. Allahabad will occupy. Okay. In how many ways the vowels of the word Allahabad will occupy the given places? Allahabad, how many letters? Vowels? Four vowels. How many vowels? Total, how many letters? Nine letters. Vowels, four. Consonants, five. Even places. How many even places will be there? Four even places. So all four even places will be occupied by what? All vowels. So is it four factorial, five factorial divided by four factorial into two factorial. Is that right, my dear? Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Why four factorial into five factorial? There are four even places. Four vowels can be accommodated in four factorial ways. Remaining five letters and five places are available. Five factorial. Repetitions we have. Four factorial and two factorial. What is the answer? What is it? Six zero. Next. Mathematics. Yeah, wow, okay. In how many ways mathematics be arranged so that vowels occur together? B, yeah, let me check. How many vowels are there? One, two, three, four. Four than a mark. Four only now. Vowels there are four only now. Total how many letters? Is it four and seven? Is it four and seven? Now vowels occur together. Vowels occur together as usual. Four factorial, eight factorial. Divided by Okay. Now, what about the answer for 20? What is the answer here? 2 factorial, that is 24 by 4. 8 factorial. 24 and... Okay. It is given like this only. It is B. Now, in how many ways can the letters of the word arrange be arranged? So, 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Is that right, my dear? So, what is 7 factorial is? Uh, 720 into 7. 5040. Divided by 4. Am I right, my dear? 1, 2, 6, 0. Have you got this, my dear? I'm assuming that you got all the answers. In how many ways the word arrange can be arranged so that two R's are together? 
sir, it is 6 factorial into 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 2 factorial. Am I right, my dear? So, is it nothing but 360? 2 hours do not come together. What is it? 2 hours do not come together. 5 factorial, 6p2, 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Is that right, my dear? Say yes or no. 5 factorial is what? 120, 6 into 5 divided by 2 into 2. How many of you did not get this answer? Please tell me. I'll explain it if you want. Listen here. Two hours do not come together. Am I right? So, total how many letters? There are two hours. There are five not hours. Am I right, my dear? These two hours are not together. I hope you remember. Five boys, five girls. That particular Jodi not together means what I told you. The same thing only to be done. Now these two hours are not together. Look at this. Logic. You don't need to change the logic. Seven letters. These two are not together. Stay away from here. Five letters. Do we have any condition for these five letters? Five factorial ways. Now for these two letters, how many places will be available? Six. So how many to be arranged? Six P2. Five factorial into six P2. Is there is any repetition? A repeated twice, R repeated twice. Is that right, my dear? Hi, Nama. Oh, sorry. Thank you. 5 factorial. Yeah. So, 6P2 is 30. 5 factorial is 120 divided by 4. 30, that is, a, is 900. Is there? This is also 900 only I am getting. 25th. In how many ways the word arrange be arranged such that two R's and two A's come together? This I already solved it. Listen here. Two R's, two A's are together. Two factorial, two factorial into what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 factorial. What is it? Thirty. Thirty-five. 35. In how many ways the word failure can be arranged so that the consonants occupy only the odd places. How many consonants? How many vowels? Four vowels? Total seven letter. Huh? Three consonants. Now, consonants occupy only odd places. Consonants occupy only odd places. 4P3 into 4 factorial. Am I right? My total 7 letters. Ma. So, how many consonants are there? 3 only consonants. How many order places? 4. Out of 4, 3 consonants to be arranged. 4P3. Remaining how many places will be available? 4. And how many vowels are available? 4. 4 factorial. Both are one and the same. 4 factorial is the whole square. Yes. <clears throat> Strange. Vowels never separated. The meaning of vowels never separated is what? Vowels are together. Am I right, my dear? How many vowels are there? Only two vowels are there. Total how many letters? Seven. Is it six factorial into two factorial? Never come together. 6 factorial into 7p2. Not 6 factorial, sorry. 5 factorial into 6p2. 5 factorial into... Sir, this option is not there, sir. Actually, I'm going to formula. Options are given in terms of what? Formula. I told you not total number of ways minus R5. That is uh, together. 
total number of arrangements minus together it is not together okay but sir you said the formula and all not needed yeah of course not needed then how can we get the answer please look at this what is in our procedure what answer you got you tell me my dear strange eh? vowels never come together vowels never come together 5 and 2 am i right my dear actually what you will be getting as answer 5 factorial into 6p2 am i right my dear 5 factorial into this is the answer say yes or no correct if you have calculator if you have calculator 120 into 30, you will get 3600. Am I right, my dear? When you multiply, you will get 3600. Now, what is it? 7 factorial is 5040. Minus 6 factorial into 2 factorial. 721440. What is it? Correct? This is one way of checking. What is the other way of checking? I'll tell you. So, see, whatever answer, format is different, my dear. What is the other way of checking? I'll tell you. Can I write it as 5 factorial as it is? 6p2 is what? 6 into 6 into 5. Say so no. 6 into 5. What is 5 factorial into 6 is? Six factorial into five. Never together means total minus together. Total, how many letters we have got? 7 factorial minus. What is the answer for the two vowels are together? See, same process only. What is given? Not together means total minus together. From total, if you remove together, you will get not together. Or our method, if you go, then what we have to do? Option test we are need to do. That's it. So you are not losing anything. Okay. Yeah. I think these problems and all you might have done. Yeah, yeah, I think. Okay. Wait, wait. Which question you have got doubt unanimously? 40? If there are 50 stations on a railway line, how many different kinds of single first class tickets may be printed to enable passengers to travel from one station to other station? Anyone give me the answer for this? 50 into 49 is the right answer. 2450. I will tell you the logic behind it. Look at this. I will tell you the logic behind it. All of you listen here. There is a railway ticket. Every railway ticket will contain what? From and to. Okay. Every railway ticket will contain what? From and to. Total, how many stations can be printed? Is They said, how many stations are there? 50. 50 stations total. From. How many stations can be printed? Out Only one I can print. But out of... How many ways from can be printed, my dear? 50. 2. Why? 50 is already printed. Once one station is already printed, definitely 2 cannot have the same station name. Except that remaining station only I can take. So how many stations will be available for that? 50 into 49. Sir, what if, if I print from one to same station? That is called a platform ticket. That is not called a traveling ticket. Correct? Let in the book area and the book area. Yes, so that means you understood now 50 and 49. Logic you understood or not? Sir, for from now, sir, we'll have 50 places, 50 stations, sir. Two, I have to print what? 49. For example, Chennai to Kolkata. Chennai, 50. Out of 50, Chennai, any, any one station can come. And uh, destination will be what? Source cannot come in the destination. So remaining 49. Is that clear? Okay, next. Any other doubt you have got, my dear, unanimously? Okay, now listen here. Wait. 
so i hope you understood whatever we had today am i right my dear